Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will simulate tensile test of concrete material using Abacus. We will go through all necessary steps to run our job successfully and get the failure and damage of our specimen. We will use concrete damage plastic material model in for concrete material in Abacus. And also we will use dynamic explicit step as step analysis let's get started let's first start with creating of our part let's go to part module create part part one for the name and 3d deformable solid extrusion click continue and let's sketch our specimen let's And now let's add dimensions in our specimen. We have 50 millimeter and also 100 millimeter in this side and 300 millimeter, also 50 millimeter and 100. And also this edge and 50 millimeter in this edge. Now we have this specimen. Let's create a radius with 50 millimeter. The fillet between these two lines and also these two lines. Now, in this side, we don't need 50 meter, but 25 millimeter. Also in this line, 25 millimeter, not 50 millimeter. And let's create fillet between these two lines. Equal to 50 millimeter. Click enter and select these two lines. No, we can't do this. Let's use 25 millimeter in the radius of fillet. These two lines and also these two lines. Now we have the half of our specimen. Let's create a line of construction and convert to construction line and create mirror. Let's create copy of let's select line mirror and select entity click done now we have the wall sketch of our specimen and now click done and let's add the depth of our specimen we have a wrong selection wrong lines let's remove some constraint and I think now we can we have the right options and let's add 100 millimeter in the depth of our specimen okay now we have our specimen let's create partitions in our specimen using the tone plan Let's create the tone plan using three points. Let's select three points to create the tone plan for creating partitions in our part. Let's start with the first. Select first point, second point, third point. Now we have the plan in this position. 
and also another plan the first point second point third point and also in this position one two three one the two plan and another one one first point second point third point now let's create partitions in our part select cell use that plan the first one create partition now we have partitions in this side let's select the cell and select that one plan create partition and also select the cell click on select that one plan create partition select cell click on select that one plan and create partition now i think we have all necessary parts partitions in our part let's go to property module and import our concrete material from foreign library now we have let's delete yes we go to material library and import this material from our own library double click on it and we have imported in our model now let's go to edit this material the concrete material we have density and the density is in the 10 per millimeter cube and also we have elastic property in the megapascal and also concrete damage plasticity parameters and also compressive behavior tensile behavior of our material and also concrete compression damage and also concrete tension damage all necessary data in our for concrete damage plasticity model is in our model in our material now let's create section concrete section real concrete material concrete section click continue select this material okay and let's assign this section of material in our part to our part click on and click okay now we have assigned material to our part or of our or our specimen of tensile test let's go to assembly and create assembly create instance apply and go to step and now we need to create dynamic explicit step for this simulation to use the, the damage and the option of failure of concrete material dynamic explicit continue click okay now let's go to select which data you need to get in our result edit let's create every x units of time 0.1 for example and let's select damage and tension for tensile for compression and tensile damage for concrete material and also let's go to select status to see our failure and damage of our material model of our tensile damage model click ok now let's go to interaction and i think we didn't we don't need any interaction because we have just one part and we don't need to create a reference point and make our simulation so simple let's go to load and now let's fix the bottom part of our specimen in the initial step displacement rotation or symmetry anti symmetry and cluster and select the bottom cell click on and on cluster click ok and let's create another condition at the initial step also displacement rotation click continue select this bottom this top cell and click on and now we need to allow the displacement in the y direction 
and avoid displacement in the x and z direction click ok and in the load we need to create displacement as load in our test tensile test click continue in the initial step in the step one click on select the bottom cell click on and select displacement in the y direction let's add 0.5 millimeter okay now we have explicit analysis we need to add amplitude and create amplitude for our load click continue Now we have amplitude. Let's select this amplitude for our load and click OK. Now we have displacement in the Y direction. Let's go to mesh module and create size. Let's 10 millimeter size of element. Apply. OK. And Let's match our part. Now let's go to assign element type. And we need to select explicit analysis, linear element, reduced integration, 3D stress family, and also don't forget to use element deletion. Select yes. And now click OK. Now before we go to job analysis and create our job, let's go to model and edit keyword, select model. And now we need to add some statements in this script. In this concrete tension stiffening, let's go there in the bottom and click add after and create this statement concrete failure semicolon type equal to strain and add some parameters in our script and statement the first parameter is a fracture strain for tension equal to 0 0.00108 and add semicolon second parameters is fracture strain for compression equal to zero in our cases in these cases because we have tensile test and also the damage parameter for tension equal to 0 0.98 and also the damage parameter for compression equal to zero in these cases now click OK. Let's verify if our statement is saved in our model. Now we have this statement in our script. Click OK. Now let's go to job and create our job. Create job. Cancel CDP click continue okay now let's go to check our model to click on data check and wait until check our model if we have any errors you can resolve these errors before we go to our submitting this operation it take time now we have job terminated let's go to the result and see our simulation result we have failure 
as you can see in your animation we have failure in and damage of our specimen in two zones the first one in the bottom and the second one in the top of our specimen now let's select concrete damage intention now we have this result and plot of our failure of concrete material 